to my channel. Today we are going to learn chapter 9 simple harmonic motion. So in this video we are going to discuss 9.2 graph of simple harmonic motion. So graph number 1 is x versus time where this is a sine graph. Okay. So we know that when x is maximum the value is equal to the amplitude a and the second graph is um, a uh, v versus t graph where from graph here we know that v equals to a omega cos omega t okay so we know that when v maximum the value here is actually equals to a omega okay the third graph is a versus t where when a maximum the value is equals to a omega square okay and the last graph is actually the total energy versus the x graph okay so we know that when um, for kinetic energy kinetic energy is maximum at equilibrium position and also it is equals to zero at amplitude okay so our kinetic energy equation is equals to half m omega square a square minus x square okay Okay, next one is the potential energy. Potential energy maximum at the amplitude and equals to zero at the equilibrium position. So, potential energy equation is equal to half m omega square x square. Okay, so if we total up potential energy plus kinetic energy, we will get total energy equals to half m omega square a square. Okay, so let us try questions exercise number three. The question number one, the displacement x of the particle in the simple harmonic motion varies with the time. So they give you this equation where x equals to 2 sine 2 pi t. So from here, we know that this is a sine graph and if the particle is start from the, when t equals to 0, x will equals to 0. It can start from the equilibrium position. So the first one, they ask you to sketch the graph displacement against time. Okay, so the first one, we need to sketch, this is a sine graph. Okay, so sine graph for one complete oscillation. Okay, so we need to find the amplitude where 2 is the amplitude. So I label here 2 is amplitude, x in cm, and t is in second. So here will be negative 2. Okay, for one complete oscillation, the period takes is equals to, okay, we know that omega is equals to 2 pi. Okay, from here, omega is equals to 2 pi, and omega also equals to 2 pi over period so therefore the period is equal to one second so i will label here one second one complete oscillation is equal to one second okay next one we want to plot v against time okay v is equal to dx over dt so if we differentiate two sine two pi t okay so two i will copy back differentiate sine we will we will get cos you differentiate omega t you will get omega so omega i will write bring forward so i will copy back to pi t so therefore v is equal to 4 pi cos 2 pi t okay so this is a cos graph so we need to sketch the graph a cos graph a uh, cos graph okay so this is a cos graph where the maximum v maximum is equal to 4 pi so this is v cm per second and this is the t in second Okay, so again, omega is equal to 2 pi from the equation given and it's also equal to 2 pi over t. So therefore, the period also equals to 1 second. Okay, okay next one, acceleration is equal to dv over dt. So we differentiate, so v is 4 pi cos 2 pi t. So the answer is 4 pi. Differentiate cos, I will get negative sign. Differentiate 2 pi t, I will get 2 pi. Okay, so I will bring forward 2 pi and then copy back 2 pi t. Okay, so finally, acceleration equation is equal to negative 8 pi square sine 2 pi t. Okay, so this is a negative sine graph. Okay, so this is a negative sine graph. Okay, where we must label maximum acceleration is 8 pi square and here is negative 8 pi square. Okay, so this is A in cm per second square and T is per second. Okay, so this is the graph for questions number one. Okay, questions number two. 
a displacement x of the particle in a simple harmonic motion so again they give you this equation x equals to 2 cos 2 pi t so from here cos meaning that we know that this object is starting from the positive cube okay so the first one sketch the displacement against the time okay so we know that x equals to 2 cos 2 pi t so this is a cos graph so i will sketch it here okay this is a cos graph for one complete cycle and the maximum displacement here is 2 so here it will be negative 2 so please label the x exit and also y exit in second okay so we know that omega is equal to 2 pi over t and omega at here also equals to 2 pi so again period is equal to 1 so i will label here 1 second okay next one velocity against t so v is equal to dx over dt where we need to differentiate 2 cos 2 pi t okay so if i differentiate cos we will get negative sign okay if we differentiate omega t we will get omega so i will bring omega 2 pi forward and we copy back 2 pi t so the velocity that we will get is negative 4 pi sine 2 pi t okay so this is a negative sign graph so negative sign graph where the period is equal to 1 and please label x exit and also y exit okay and the maximum speed okay is equal to a omega where is equal to negative 4 pi uh, he positive 4 pi and here will be negative 4 pi next one is the accelerations against t so accelerations is equal to dv over dt so we differentiate v Okay, from here, V is equal to negative 4 pi sine 2 pi t. So, negative 4 pi, just copy. Differentiate sine, we will get cos. Differentiate 2 pi t, we will get 2 pi. And then, this one, we copy back 2 pi t. So, the acceleration is actually negative 8 pi square cos 2 pi t. Okay. So this is a negative cost graph, meaning that we will start from the negative amplitude. Okay, this is a negative cost graph where x y exit is a in cm per second square, x exit in t unit is second, and the maximum acceleration is equal to 8 pi square, negative 8 pi square, and the period here because it's still 2 pi, so the period here is still 1 second. Okay, so we will go to questions number 3. Okay, sketch a graph of potential energy U against the displacement for the spring whose spring constant, this is the K, and which has the mass of, convert into kg, eh? so this is the mass on the end of it. Assume that the spring was start with the initial amplitude 2 cm. Okay, neglect the mass of the spring and any frictions with the horizontal surface. Okay, so this is the spring where this spring initially is start from okay start from the amplitude equals to 2 cm okay where x is equals to 0 this is the equilibrium position so it start from 2 cm right? start from the amplitude okay so what should we do is we need to sketch the graph the potential energy against the displacement so we know that potential energy is equal to half kx square where k here they give you 95 and the displacement here is equal to uh, 2 cm so we convert into 0 0.02 square so finally the potential energy we will get 0 0.019 and the unit is joule okay so the graph here actually is a smiling face huh? it's a smiling face we know that at the amplitude at the amplitude potential energy is maximum and at the equilibrium position potential energy is equal to 0 so actually this is a smiling face Okay, and you must label this is u in joule and this is in x in meter okay so here i will label it as negative 0 0.02 and also positive 0 0.02 so this is the graph for potential energy against displacement okay questions number four a 2 kg body oscillate in a simple harmonic motion if its kinetic energy uh, change with the displacement so the first one find the amplitude so this is the amplitude uh, this is x maximum 
or equals to the amplitude. So we know that the amplitude from the graph is equal to 0 0.2 meter. Okay, so we will only take the magnitude one, 0 0.2. Okay, next one, we need to find the period. Okay, where we know that period T is equal to 2 pi over omega, where we have omega is equal to Okay, so from this graph, we know that the K maximum is equal to 2 joule. Okay, so K maximum equation is equal to half M omega square A square and is equal to 2 joule. Okay, so we substitute half M is equal to 2. Omega is the value that we want to find. A is equal to 0 0.2 square and is equal to 2 joule. Okay, so we can cancel off omega, we will get 7.071 radian per second. Okay, so if you want to find period, we know that omega equals to 2 pi over t. So t will equal to 2 pi over omega. So we substitute omega equals to 7.071. So the period that we will get is equal to 0 0.89 second. Question number C, find the maximum acceleration. Equation for A maximum is equal to A omega square, where we have A 0 0.2 and omega is equal to 7.071 square. Okay, so if you substitute R, we will get 10 meter per second square. Question number 5. A 0 0.2 kg object performs simple harmonic motion with the displacement x from the equilibrium point as in figure. So we know that from this graph, this is a sine graph. So when t equals to 0, x equals to 0. So from this graph, we notice that this object is starting from the equilibrium position. Okay, where here 8 is the amplitude and 0 0.8 is actually the period. Okay, so the first one determine the amplitude. Uh. So from here we know that 8 cm, uh, the amplitude is equal to 8 cm. B, find the angular frequency. Angular frequency is equal to 2 pi over t. So from the graph we notice that 0 0.8 is the period, so it's 2 pi over 0 0.8 second. So we will get 7.85 radian per second. And C, calculate the total energy. So total energy equation is equal to half m omega square a square. So we just substitute all the value. Half m is 0 0.2, omega is 7.85 square, and a is the amplitude. So remember in cm, so we must convert it into meter. Uh, a cm becomes 0 0.08, remember to square. And the finally, we will get the answer 0.0394 Joe. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye. Bye.